Uh, good afternoon. Um, my name is John Lancaster. I work with oh. INTL FC Stone. Um, I head up the, the dairy consulting and um, I work with our full supply chain on managing their risk, their commodity price risk. Um, we're a financial services company, so I come from a, a slightly different uh, background to Rohit here. Um, I came through a completely different pathway. Uh, my background is pure agriculture. I grew up on an arable and a beef farm in County Wexford in Ireland. Uh, we, grow and we, we grew and we still grow barley, wheat, uh, sugar beet, and, or fodder beet as, as is now. And um, we, we have suckler cows and, uh, and store cattle. Um, I went from there to study agriculture in university. Um, I did production agriculture. Then I went on to do a, a master's in agricultural engineering before going on to do postgraduate work in um, environmental risk management. So I'm not telling you this just to <laughs> give a, a CV for myself here. Um, my company, FC Stone, um, we're very much, our DNA is in agriculture. Um, the company is a financial services company, and we have our big, um, scary disclaimers, but the core DNA of the company, a lot of it sits back on agriculture. And the, company was, the, the portion of the company that I'm from was originally set up in the 1970s in the Midwest US. It was working with grain elevators, grain farmers, to manage their price risk in an incredibly volatile market. And when we look at agriculture, we're looking at markets that are more volatile than foreign exchange, that are more volatile than equities and than stocks and shares. So we're in a situation where risk management is, is, is an incredibly important part of the agricultural world that we live in today. Um, the, here's an example of uh, butter and skim milk powder prices. So I could, this could be a wheat chart, this could be a soybean chart, this could be any, on, any, any number of agricultural commodities. But dairy in particular over the last 10 to 15 years has shown a dramatic increase in both the, the, the level of volatility and the, the, the price swings that are there. Um, we went from being in a, in a relatively stable environment, kind of a, a closed garden, so to speak, where you know, in, in milk price terms, we're moving maybe four or five pence a liter, to now we live in a world where milk price can move up to 10, 15 pence a liter in the space of a year or two. And trying to manage and live with that kind of volatility, um, it becomes very difficult. So as part of what we do, we work with companies across the entire, um, in the entire supply chain, all the way from primary producers, from farmers, all the way to end users, to retailers, and to help them manage the price risk involved in, 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 in their dairy and, and other commodities. In Europe, um, for our history, like I say, started in the US with grains, and then into oil seeds, into the biofuel industry, and we expanded there into pr practically all parts of the agricultural supply chain in, in the US. Um, in Europe, we, we, have fo we follow the similar pathway. Um, we work a lot in grains, and we do a lot on the, on the live feed wheat contract in, here in, in the UK, also the Matif wheat contract out of um, Paris. Um, we were one of the first companies to, to publicly support and try and, in, and work with the EEX exchange in developing dairy contracts. So 10 years ago in Europe there was no, no such thing as, as a dairy futures contract. Um, last year that has moved from trading zero tons back in 2010 to almost uh, 80,000 uh, tons and we're seeing, going to see that um, increase significantly again uh, this year. So. As these, as these markets develop, as the, as the, the risk with, all of, with, with these agricultural products uh, exists, we work with the, the full supply chain to try and, and let them manage their risk and the most important thing is manage their margin. Um, I think, it's a, I think it's, a, it's, it's a word that you're going to hear a lot from some of the other speakers here today is, pardon? For a lot that you're going to hear from the other speakers here today is managing margin. So, you know, in 
on the dairy side, we've worked at developing uh, and working with companies to develop forward price contracts for farmers. So enable, enable dairy farmers to, instead of being purely price takers, to be able to go, okay, we have a contract now, um, it gives a structure, it gives a forward price. Should you like that forward price, you can take that forward price and accept that. And now that you know your forward price, you can fix your inputs and you can secure your margin. And that, I think, is, is the most crucial uh, important part. When you have volatile markets, when you have situations where, say, milk price can move up to 15 in, in, in the space of a year and a half. Being able to have that control, being able to take at that level of control to be able to say, I know what my milk price is going to be, I know what my input, input costs are going to be, and I can secure the, my margins. <laughs> Sorry. And um, I will just finish up on that margin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John.